Okay, so we want to make a tool holder for this uh, Capto C6 holder. This is a turning holder to be used on a machine like a DMG Mori NT or an Integrex for the automatic tool changer or ATC head. So the turning tool is going to be a square shank tool that's going to fit inside of the slot. And this is made by EWS. So what I'm going to do first is right click and say select all, come to properties and just change this to a lighter color. And then what I want to do is come over here to the actual logo because their logo is blue and I'm going to go ahead and what I did there is hold shift and pick this edge and then hold control and pick this top face and what that does is that grabs all of the solid faces uh, around and then the top face. Just right click, say copy. Let's go to attribute and color and pick the blue. And once I do that, we have uh, the EWS logo is highlighted in blue. And what I'm going to do here too is just uh, to make this a little bit more aesthetically pleasing is grab some of these faces here and just do that same thing again. Uh, holding control, grabbing all those faces, and then grabbing maybe a, a, a slightly darker shade of gray so that those uh, elements are shaded differently. And then maybe for this stop block here, and if I want to get anal about it, I'll go ahead and grab this back, this back side too, and just say copy again, and we'll pick the darker shade of gray. And now um, what I want to do is make sure that the tool is oriented properly. So I can see that this is at the center and at this face, which is going to interface with the, um, the uh, spindle, uh, the, the machine spindle face. So I want to verify that though. So um, because I, you know, some of these solids, they come in slightly off or they're in weird positions. So this solid came off the website. And I'm just going to go ahead and knit a line Z, and then I'm going to pick this outside uh, cylindrical face and pick a line Z again so I know that this is centered about this bore. So now that I've done that, I see that my tool is facing the opposite of the red. The red is going to face toward my main spindle. So currently, the way that this would import into my uh, Integrex machine or whatever is going to have the tool facing toward the sub. But for these, I like to have them so that they all face toward the main. So I'm gonna control A to grab everything, or again, you can right click and say select all, same thing, control A. And I'm gonna right click and say copy. And then I'm just gonna say rotate, move 180 degrees. That's gonna flip the holder around the opposite direction. And at this point now, um, what I want to do is move this uh, work plane to the position that I want. And what I want is I want the shank to start here and come all the way down with the insert on the end. So I need to determine a point that's going to be somewhere in the middle of uh, this edge where the tool shank would be. An easy way to do that inside of a spree is come to geometry. I'm going to pick rectangle. And literally, I have these um, intersections here. So since I want this corner, I'm going to pick this center point and this center point. And it generates a 2D rectangle for me, which I can then come here to translate and move that over there come over here, add a new tool adapter position. And since uh, maybe in the future, I'll import a custom uh, solid for the holder. Uh, but usually I'll just use the default, but I'll add the HA as well. So TA for tool adapter, HA for holder adapter. And you might be questioning, um, we have a 3D cube here. Um, what I wanna do actually is just uh, maybe come over here and do that again and make sure that I pick the correct one. So it looks like this is the center point of this tool block. And actually, no, on this side, it's 
actually I did pick the correct one. So I wanted to pick the center of this because this is the, the holder is going to be flush against this face and the back. So this is the correct one. Um, this was not oriented exactly midway to this tool pocket. So it created a 3D cube. So um, what I'm gonna do here is uh, just save out my file. I've got my tool and holder adapter positions. Um, I've got all my colors and orientations correct. Just gonna come here to File, Save As. I'm gonna come down here to make a holder GDML. I'm in my uh, EWSB Access Capto Turning Square folder. And I'm just gonna say Save. And we are done. Okay, so we've got our machine loaded. This is in Integrax Mazak i300. And we have a B-axis ATC for the upper channel. This has no lower turret, so there's only one channel on this machine. So we wanna go ahead and test the holder, make sure that it works correctly. Under the station, I'm gonna right click and say add an adaptive item. I'm going to pick the uh, tool that we just made. So there it is. Nice looking preview there inside of the Windows function. So um, what I'm gonna do here is just say open. We can see that my uh, holder appears correctly positioned in orientation and location. Uh, it's flush up against the ATC head. Um, since it's highlighted, let me turn off the machine here. And since uh, it's highlighted, we can see some different shadings I'm gonna say okay, I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna pick, uh, add a turning, well you can see here that we have the add adaptive item, so I could still add another holder on top of the holder for that HA position, but I'm gonna pick a turning tool. And the turning tool is going to come into the holder. And we have a, a turning, st standard uh, turning square shank We've got uh, 0.787, so this is a 20 millimeter. Looks like we're good to go. So that is going to be it. Now we can use this for machining uh, on, on our part.